Okay, so here it is. Shave number three with the 100-year-old razor blade. And just so you know, it is Monday, February 9th. There's the Indiana Gazette. Uh, just to prove that I am who I say I am and that I'm shaving what I say I'm uh, shaving. Um, I've got the 100-year-old blade in the trusty old type ball and razor. Um, I do have it uh, adjusted uh, to be slightly more aggressive. I found that that was a lot better of a shave than the other one was, and uh, so I'm going to do that. However, I am limited by this blade, so what I decided that I would do is I would change my tactic for shaving, and what I decided I'd do is I'm going to take in my trusty Old Spice shaving mug, little Trumper's sandalwood skin food. I put a little bit in the bottom there, and what I'm going to do is I'm using the Trumper's sandalwood um, shaving cream, and I'm going to whip up a lot of nice rich lather on my badger brush instead of my bore and the soap. Not that there's anything wrong with the uh, the soap, but I'm going to try a cream tonight and see if maybe that will make it a little bit more comfortable to shave with. Um, I also decided that I would not be filming this with my camera, or I mean with my uh, with my iPhone, uh, because the poor sound quality. So I decided that I would film it with an actual camera. Imagine that, filming a video with a camera instead of with a phone. Is that incredible? Um, as you can see, this Trumper stuff whips up really, really well. It's a really thick, luxurious, creamy lather. It's all over me. Um, not a lot of air bubbles in it, uh, so I think that we're actually ready to go. I've got a sink full of hot water here. I already pre-treated my face with a warm towel, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mug back in there, and then I'm going to start lathering up. When I'm done, I'll stick the brush back in the cup, which is sitting in the hot sink uh, water, and um, then get my shave on. I will say this, that um, the very first cream that I ever used was the Art of Shaving Cream, sandalwood. And that, uh, that sandalwood is one of the richest, most luxurious sandalwood scents that I've ever smelled. And I've pursued a lot of uh, sandalwood scents in my shaving because it's my favorite. And uh, the Trumpers comes pretty close. But it's not quite as good as the Art of Shaving, but it's a lot cheaper um, than the Art of Shaving stuff. And using my Art of Shaving fine badger brush. Um, anyhow, here we go. Shave number three with the 100 old, year old blade. Ready to go. I'll tell you what, that cream actually creates a lot more cushion for this old blade. Um, I can actually tell a difference in the shave quality right off the bat. When I adjusted the um, when I adjusted the blade angle, by the way, for those of you who don't know, Gillette always marketed their razors as adjustable, um, and uh, these old ones are adjustable if you use an old blade, not if you use a new blade. The new blades are too thin to adjust, but the old ones are thick enough that you could actually loosen some of the pressure and it would change the blade angle. And what I did was I actually followed what uh, Gillette said in their shaving booklets about um, loosening the handle and it actually makes it a slightly more aggressive uh, ang blade angle and really it's a lot better. As my friend Porter pointed out in a post, um, I had originally said that with the uh, with the old Gillettes, you have to hold them at an obtuse angle, um, and what I meant there was uh, the handle has to be sticking almost perpendicular to your skin. Most people shave like this, and they just bring the razor down. That's not how these old ones were designed. They were actually designed more to mimic um, a straight razor. And so a straight razor, blade-wise, uses a very acute or very narrow angle. And so to get that very narrow angle against the skin, you have to hold the razor almost like that. 
And just like with a straight razor, these are designed to not use pressure. So um, you can use a wee little bit of pressure, but uh, I really don't recommend it. I think that it's fine just the way it is. And you can actually um, really nick yourself up badly if you use uh, if you use a lot of pressure with one of these older types of blades. Um, so, all right. There is with the grain on the face. Halfway through my neck. For those of you who wonder, yes, my neck is sensitive. I've always had a sensitive neck. Um, cartridges used to tear me up because I would shave with them, and every every pass you make with a cartridge is like three four or five passes with one of these um, because you have three, four, or five blades in a cartridge. So um, if you have a sensitive neck, a cartridge razor will actually irritate you more than one of these because you're making more passes over your skin. Uh, because even with a cartridge razor you can't just go and make one pass over your whole skin. You still need to make multiple passes. Um, so, uh, I much prefer the DE than the cartridge razors. Um, I'm not saying that they're not okay. I mean, some people really like cartridge razors. I, for one, do not, but that's just me. To each his or her own. For me, I will never, ever, ever, ever go back to a cartridge razor. Um, if I'm in some nursing home and some aide decides that they want to pull out the old Mach 3 or Fusion Ball or whatever they have 50 years from now when I'm at home. Well, I'll grow a beard. Let's put it that way. Um, I am sold on the wet shaving. And I will teach my children to wet shave because I think that it's that important. So, I'm going to do a pass actually across the grain just to get a little bit cleaner because um, with this razor I didn't want to go against the grain um, because the blade is so tuggy and uh, I thought you know I already get some irritation with it just going with the grain so but um, I'm really a lot more used to going against the grain and getting more of a BBS type shave. Baby bottom smooth. Um, so, uh, I thought, eh, I'll go across the grain. Try to eliminate some of that hair. I have a very, even though I have sensitive skin, I have a very, very thick beard. It's not really coarse, but it's thick and um, it grows really quickly. Um, I could actually shave twice a day, but my skin is pretty sensitive, and I think that that would irritate me no matter how gentle I was. But you never know, maybe um, since I'm doing this 100 shave challenge, maybe one day I'll shave twice in one day with the 100 year old blade, you never know. One thing that I will say about this 100 year old blade since it's so thick, it actually holds its edge a lot better than the thinner modern blades. And honestly, um, with the modern blades, I usually shave twice with one modern blade. This is shave three with this blade. And I have to say, I think it's the best shave I've had so far. That's something that I really wasn't expecting. I expected every shave to be worse, and as a matter of fact, after yesterday, I thought, boy, 98 more shaves to go with this beast. I don't know if I can do it. Well, I think I can. Call me the little engine that could. I don't care what you call me, but I think I can do it.
All right, look at that. Two passes, one with the grain, then across the grain with my neck, and actually it's a lot smoother than it's been before. Um, and then against the grain here, I'm going to do a little touch up. Yeah. And that is a DFS. I'm actually pretty pleased. Um, this was the best shave that I've had with this razor so far. Um, very impressed. Uh, the, the rich lather from the Trumpers really helped a lot. By the way, warm tail. It's nice. Um, I think that the lather helped a lot. I did not use a pre-shave uh, pre oil or any other type of pre-treatment. I just used a warm uh, wet cloth and um, that was it. So uh, this one was just a little bit of Trumper skin food and actually, oh boy, I've got to order more because I'm almost out. And then the uh, Trumper's shaving cream, sandalwood, and a fine badger brush from Art of Shaving. As much as people hate those chain stores, the Art of Shaving is still a good store and they sell good products, even though they're overpriced products. But this uh, shaving brush here, this fine badger, is great. And this has been the most pleasant shave that I have had thus far with the 100 year old blade. Now just to let you know, up next um, tomorrow I'm going to be posting a contest because I'm going to be having a giveaway and what you need to do is you need to subscribe so that you don't miss that. I'm going to post the giveaway rules and also the prize and um, then uh, you guys can uh, try to win and hopefully you guys will win some giveaway items and if it's a hit I'll do it again. Um, I'm also, uh, I've got some other things in the mix including using maybe some different razors and some different techniques as I shave to keep it uh, nice and lively. But thanks for watching, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow for my 100 shaves with the 100 year old blade. Take care.